Thanks to Nokia, we had the possibility for a pre-test of the most weighted Nokia N900. Of course, you are with Emilio Vignapiano on the lab of CellularMagazine.it. So, first of all, let's see the main difference between the father, the N810. As you see, they are very, very different. On the new device, the N900, we have 110.9 per 59.8 per 18 millimeters. So really, really cute, really small, as you also can see from here. The difference is incredible. Um, so let's put apart and let's see just the new toy. The uh, display has the classical resolution of 800 per 480 pixels, so you have all your internet page in. As you see, now you have all the icons. My AMO are uh, the features, so also the icons are uh, the tree and displayed in the My AMO style, but of course they are with the latest Nokia features. As you can see, web multimedia, they are the icons shape that are already pre-installed in the S60 third edition feature pack 2. It's uh, just 181 grams, so pretty, pretty um, smaller, but also less heavy than the other one. Just three lines, not anymore four of keys. Thanks God are separated, and now they are also a bit um, with a shape that you can feel it much, much better than on the Prey device of N810. So, as you can see, it's working pretty, pretty good. The slide, uh, good sound, no movement, so very, very solid. The backspace is integrated. You have also um, right and left, so most of the features you have to adapt a little just to the three lines, but to, if you have compact dimension, you can have it just in this way. Front camera for video calling, you have to remember that it's not anymore just a tablet, but this is a phone with quadriband GSM connection, also GPRS and age, and HSDPA and HSUPA. 10 megabyte per second in download and 2.0 megabyte per second in upload. So really, really powerful modem also. Um, stereo speaker, one on the right, the other one on the left. On the left you have also the micro USB slot to sync but also to charge. Um, then on the top, balance of the volume, turning on and off button, camera key, that the main camera is on the back, 5 megapixel, card size, lenses, autofocus, double LED flash, really you have all you need. There is also the stand, smaller than in the other device, as you can see that was really, really much bigger. Uh, camera quality photo are really, really good and are also not so long to take. This is a prototype, so the timing doesn't really give us an idea. Of course, um, this phone will come out in October. Now we are at the beginning of September, so they have more than one month to really improve it. Price will be 599 euro on the Italian market. Let's continue with the buttons. Uh, lock and lock button. 3.5 millimeter jack, so standard also in this device. The pen, yes, we have the pen because this is a resistive screen, no multi touch, but also you really don't need. Let's go inside to a uh, now if you, we want to add some feature, but let's open the web browser. Okay. I have to get you a story. Uh, let's open a page like uh, uh, YouTube. Okay, there was already someone going on YouTube. So now it's connecting to YouTube. We are under 3G connection. But today we are inside the office, so the connection is not so powerful. Let's see how long it takes. In the meanwhile, we can go on other application, so we can see also other features. It's 
In the meanwhile, it's charging some feature of the web browser. These are the pages. As you can see, the history has also graphics, so pretty, pretty good. Didn't find YouTube. Let's try again. Instead, we'll skip it. In the meanwhile, we can see all the pages that we open. Uh, they are active. So, in the meanwhile, if you see, YouTube is charging. So, also will continue. So, these are really, really active. Let's go in the main menu. As we go in the option, it's really my MIMO style. 5.0, so really a huge update. In fact, uh, as a, a quadri core arm processor, 600 megahertz, so really you can make your uh, multiplication and see how powerful it is. It also has a 3G accelerometer for gaming but also for multimedia. Let's go into photos. There is a, on the front nearby the camera there is a light sensor but also a proximity sensor so you can uh, see The proximity center are you when you are making a phone call, so the screen is activated nearby your ear. Touching parts where there is nothing gives you the possibility to get back. So as you see, it's pretty, pretty fast. See, all the scrolling of the photo are already preloaded. It's really working pretty, pretty good. So let's get back. As you see, YouTube has open part of it. Unfortunately, the connection is not working so well. But this is not a problem of the device. It's a problem that we are really in an office, really inside a building. Uh, the browser, it's, uh, it's Mozilla-based. So has also Flash 9.4 integrated, but not only in the web browser, has also the Flash integrated in the email. So pretty, pretty fast, pretty good, and it's one of the first that we've seen with the email with the Flash player integrated. The memory inside is 32 gigabyte, expandable with uh, micro SD, up to 16 gigabytes. Probably will be also um, you can also use with some updates also 32 gigabytes. But for now, Nokia just said 16 gigabytes. You have uh, almost one gigabyte for um, application, so really helps you to do what you want. These are other applications, as you see, there is documents to go, there are some gamings, um, and there are also some classical uh, uh, MIME application and feature. This is a RSS reader, so dig it, TechCrunch, today blogging, so it's really already, it's just a prototype, but it's working, working pretty, pretty fast and pretty good. Just uh, uh, a hot looking. Okay, I want to cover the contacts. As you see, it really is going fast. Let's close it, and it's oh, 1,000 contacts. So then we have conversations. Okay, then you have a conversation. This is a Skype conversation. Also, this. Then you have a new chat you can do with Google, um, or you can have with other features like Skype or just SMS. Everything pretty, pretty fine. For uh, Cellulare Magazine. It, this uh, pre test is finished. But we'll have the model uh, in the next weeks with a complete review.